Well, moving out, moving out with Mateo on the Kaluby side a little bit, uh, barring something unexpected, the most contested congressional race we're going to have next year will be the 8th district, which is... What else is now? Yeah, incumbent, <laughs> incumbent Dave Riker uh, versus probably in a rematch with Darcy Berner. Uh, Kelly, do you have any thoughts on where I was shaping up at this point? I actually interned for Riker's office in D.C. Um, really? This summer. Um, great guy. Um, it's tough. Um, it's very interesting working in the office because you do get to see the other side. You do see how hard um, Congress people are working, and I think sometimes we underestimate them and they think that they're not doing anything, and they really are. They're working their butts off. It's not a 9-to-5 job. Sometimes it's an 8-to-10 job, and then they fly home on the weekends, and they're meeting people, and they're marching in parades. And it's a tough job, so I think first off, people just need to give our representatives a little bit more credit because they're working their butt off. And that being said, um, it, it will be a really close race. A lot of people are really upset about the Iraq War, um, and obviously rightfully so. I think that was that and health care were the two biggest issues that I really felt the 8th District anyway. And I answered a lot of phone calls, so I got to hear. So if anybody in here has ever called, I just I answered your phone call. But, I think those are really the two biggest issues right now that are not just facing the 8th District but our nation. And I think how our representatives handle those situations is really what's going to handle their elections. And something to think about is it is very true in this place like the 8th, and it's really true anywhere. Our, our name, 60 million strong, represents the idea that there's a little over 60 million people under the age of 35 who are eligible to vote in this country. In other words, and we're spread out enough, that's enough people to turn any election for any office anywhere in the country. So the question that's going to address someone like, like Riker versus Darcy, or even other races that are not expected to be as contested is, if you can get young people to vote in, in higher numbers than has previously happened, that can, that can be the difference maker, especially in a swing district such as that.